Like life and death, moon and sun, it's sure to each the piper comes. And while God and goddess give for free, down below there will be fees. Despite perfect love and perfect trust, there's no way around it. Cash is a must. We've sought within, but come up short. So we come to thee, your help to court. If you would aid this temple's life, a three-dollar donation would be nice. Remember well that gifts when sent return threefold of what was spent. But if you can't, well, blessed be. We shall survive, so mote it be. Merry meet and welcome to week 33 of Wicca, A Yuna Day in Magic. I'm Lady Nefties, and this week on week 33, we'll be learning about magical creatures from the Pegasus, the Griffin, to even the Sphinx. Now we'll be covering just a few of the magical creatures out there, because there is a whole smorgasbord of them, and we've only got time for a few. Now for our lesson today, we'll be learning how to work with the symbolism of each of these magical creatures because some of these magical creatures may just be a work of fiction or they may be real. It's really up to you whether you want to decide if you believe in them or not. But basically we will be working with the symbolism of these creatures. Now the first animal we'll be learning about is the Pegasus, the winged horse, who was born from the blood of Medusa's decapitated head, or other tales state its birth in other ways, usually from Medusa's blood in some way or another. Now the Pegasus has both the grace and the beauty of a horse and an eagle, but also has wisdom. Now the Pegasus symbolizes spiritual and astral travel, fame and eloquence, and magic. Now these are just the classical uh, symbolism for the Pegasus, and of course, along with color, if you feel the Pegasus symbolizes something else to you, as far as magic goes and symbolism goes, then go ahead and use that symbolism that you find appropriate for the animal in your magic. Now on to the griffin. Now it's said that they are eight times larger than lions and a hundred times stronger than an eagle. They are obviously a combination of a lion and an eagle. And it also has a fondness for gold and will guard gold mines. Now griffins are sacred to the goddess Nemesis, the goddess of retribution. She used them as an instrument of vengeance. Now griffins are depicted as guardians of treasure and also of the sun. Now, griffins classically symbolize spiritual wisdom, vigilance, and vengeance, but also greed. Now, another creature from the Greek tales, the Cerberus, the three-headed guardian of the gates of the realm of Hades. It kept out humans, living ones of course, who tried to rescue their loved ones from the underworld. Now, one of Hercules' labors was to drag the hound to the city of Tyrans. Now. Cerberus is a symbol of the guardian, but also communicating with the dead. Now our next creature is the phoenix, a popular symbol of rebirth and resurrection, as you probably already know. Now they feed upon only air and do not harm other creatures to feed. Now a similar bird is found in Egyptian tales, the Bennu bird, which is sacred to Osiris, Horus, and Ra, and is a symbol of the sun. It is believed to be the spirit, or Ba, of Ra. Now, the phoenix symbolizes rebirth, strength, and rising out of the ashes, and also hope. Now, one of the most popular magical creatures, even to this day, is the unicorn. Now, we all know what a unicorn is. The unicorn is a lunar creature, wise and gentle. Now, many sightings have been reported throughout the ages. Even Christianity holds this creature to high esteem, equating it to Christ and purity. Now, in Asia, the unicorn is a symbol of benevolence and longevity and good luck. Now, the unicorn is a symbol of both the maiden and the crone, being pure and beautiful, but also having great wisdom. It is said that drinking water that a unicorn has placed their horn in, or even drinking out of a unicorn's horn, will cure any disease that the person may have. Now, the unicorn is a symbol of fame, gentleness, magical power, wisdom, and the strength of the mind. Now, the last magical creature we'll be covering is the Sphinx, the master of knowledge. Now, they have learned everything that humanity has ever known and also forgotten. 
even languages and magic. They value and collect gems, metals, and even books, especially ancient scrolls. The Sphinx is the guardian of the great mysteries. Now, the Greek Sphinx appears as a female and would challenge travelers on the road to Thebes with a riddle. Those who gave the wrong answer were killed. Now, the Sphinx is a symbol of knowledge, initiation, secrets, and silence. Now, for those of you who may be wondering at this point that we've covered several magical creatures, why I didn't go over the Fae. Now, the Fae will be getting their own week in the coming weeks of Wicca, A Year to Day in Magic, so no need to fear. And also, I would like to point out another way of working magic with your magical creatures is going to be covered in the coming weeks of this course as well. It'll be putting a magical animal or incorporating a magical animal's name into your own magical name. You will be learning on how to create your magical name through the magic of numbers and through your own spiritual path, what that name will mean to you, but that will be a couple of weeks ahead in time. Now again, why would you want to work with magical animals? Now, to obtain their desirable attributes, such as the Sphinx, being a great master of knowledge, you may want to meditate on the Sphinx and have it guide you to your goal. Now, keep pictures around of the magical creature, or even draw the magical creature onto your tools or in your book of shadows to remind you of your goal. And the week after next, we'll be learning about drawing more things onto your magical tools with magical alphabets. But for next week, week 34, we'll be learning about everyday animals and their magical powers and attributes such as cats, dogs, horses, wolves, and other wild animals, even dolphins and seals and elks and deers. But your goal for this week is to find a magical creature that I have not listed here and see if they have any desirable attributes that you can include into your path to help you along with your goals and help you with your spiritual development. Now, until next time, blessed be.